first we have this uh, 60s, 1969 Marblehead game. Um, we bought it for $3 and it sold for $21.70. Uh, next we have this extra large Harley Davidson mini shirt. It's one of the uh, like mesh ones almost that are like breathable cotton or breathable polyester. Uh, we got it for $6 and it sold for $34.24. Uh, this is a woman says large spider S P Y D E R uh, racerback tank top. We bought it for two dollars and it sold for twenty four dollars and thirty cents. Uh, today we sold this Patagonia shirt for thirty dollars even. It's uh, one of the half organic cotton ones. We just got this uh, less than a week ago and we paid two ninety nine for it. Uh, we also sell these bag of Crayola crayons. People use these for art. Um, we got these for free and we sold them for $12.50. We sold this uh, New Look Tags Walls uh, shirt. It's like a vintage button down shirt uh, with a mossy oak print. Sold for $16.50. We sold this size large uh, Hilo Hattie men's shirt uh, button down for $20.79. Uh, we sold this Need Refractor uh, Digital Telescope. Um, it's new, new open box is how it was listed. Everything's in there, but the box is open. Um, we bought it for $25. We've had it for like three and a half weeks, and it just sold for $231.94. Ching. Uh, we sold this lot of um, Arcaruk, I think is how you say it, uh, plates. They're made in France. There's a lot of 19 of them. Um, we had them listed for 32 plus shipping and we took an offer of 20 plus shipping. Uh, we sold this Ibanez Fuzz Sound Tank um, guitar pedal. It's from the 60s. Um, we had it listed for $88 plus shipping and we took an offer of 63.18 plus shipping. Uh, these sell the other ones listed are over $100, but we got it for $2, and so we don't want to be greedy. So that's gone as well. Uh, these Kate Spade shoes, um, they're wedges. We had them listed for $24.94 plus shipping, and we took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. And this uh, Le Creuset uh, red enamel tea kettle. Uh, we sold it for full price of $21.94 plus shipping and handling. Uh, these go for more. A lot more if they're in good condition, but this one was uh, really beat up. So $22 for a beat up tea kettle is not a bad deal. Not bad at all.